Would you please welcome the producer and director of the British Curry Awards, looking as glamorous as ever, it's Justine Alley! Your Excellencies, Lords, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum and good evening. Welcome to the British Curry Awards 2014 to celebrate the success of the curry industry. You've already seen some spectacular acts already. What else do we have in store for you tonight? An exotic fusion of dancing, singing, more food and drink, and the reason we're here tonight, lots of awards. By happy coincidence, we are also we are celebrating the 10 years of the British Curry Awards. And it also coincidentally happens to be my father's birthday. Happy birthday, Baba. <laughs> the original purpose of these awards was to inspire and motivate individual restaurants to develop restaurants and their businesses to change the perceptions in the minds of the dining public. As a result, in those 10 years, we have seen a vast improvement in standards of presentation, quality service, creativity, and originality of menus. Since then, the success has been measured in ever higher standards of curry cuisine available in local high streets and back streets, prestigious venues and quirky locations throughout the country. As part of our communities, we can be proud to exemplify both entrepreneurial spirit and cultural integration. Most rewarding for us, the ambition to display the British Curry Award in your restaurant is now galvanizing the new generation. Graduates with top degrees are beginning to follow in their father's footsteps and come into our industry. So, how has the British Car Rewards event changed since? Let's take a look back. The English love affair with curry has lasted for centuries. Though the first curry house was established in London in 1810, its popularity really dates back to the setting up of Virasami in 1926. In the 70s, the curry industry began to bloom and reach the mainstream, with chicken tikka masala becoming a national dish. It's not part of our culture now. Even used in a political speech about multiculturalism by a man with a tikka masala colored beard. Chicken tikka masala is now a true British national dish. According to statistics at the time, around 85% of all curry restaurants were owned by the immigrants from Silhet in Bangladesh. Coming to the beginning of this century and the British curry industry faced some unexpected problems. Firstly, the new generation of British Asians did not view this as a prestigious business. And secondly, the curry industry faced a shortage of manpower due to immigration laws. Thirdly, it was difficult to negotiate with the government or the opposition in the absence of effective leadership. To address this issue and present before the world the creativity of curry chefs and restaurants, the British Curry Awards were born in 2005. British Curry Awards 2005. In the very first year, British mainstream media declared the British Curry Awards now to be the Oscars of the curry industry. The first Curry Awards, a glittering ceremony in London that's been described as the industry's equivalent of the Oscar. The British Curry Awards put pressure on MPs with regard to the staffing problems of the spice restaurant sector, which was debated in the British Parliament. And I'm Ali, restaurateurs, for passing on their detailed concerns. You are here today, I mean, indeed, NM Ali, who uh, produced this is the Spice Business Magazine, a restaurant owner, extremely influential in the industry, and organises the British Curry Award. Meet the nation's curry king. Born in Bangladesh, Enam Ali is a man who loves Britain and has made it his life's work to persuade his adopted homeland to love curry just as much. And you call this now, don't you? You call this British curry rather, yes, rather than Indian. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I do call British curry because of the the way is presented, the way the whole process is done. He calls it British, but it's cooked by foreign chefs. Under new immigration rules, work permits are only given to those classified as highly skilled, earning about 30,000 a year, and who can speak English. You go to Bangladesh, apply for advertising in the newspaper, get somebody, interview them, anything is fine, and you apply them, it'll be rejected. It is because? That, because of his English may be weak, or the certificate he provided is not in the proper institution. Many different things has happened. Does it matter whether chefs can speak English? 
That's, that's all they're saying. You got to have Does it matter to you or me? No, because I'm looking for somebody cooking a curry. I'm not looking for somebody to come into my kitchen lecturing English. No. It will be a disaster for the industry. Hugely good sense The British government and opposition of both took a stand in favor that. of this industry. We'll continue to help you to get the skilled Asian chefs that you need. World famous stars throng to the colorful ceremony to celebrate the awards every year. This year's British Curry Awards is the biggest event in the curry calendar, believe it or not. Now over these years, these awards have become a fixture in our national life. They are, as I put it, the Oscars of British curry. <laughs> Victorious restaurants showed their joy. The last eight years to try and get this award. There is a reward for hard work. And that's what it is. We want to retain this enthusiasm, this success story. We want to see this happiness and celebration every year. We've come a long way in 10 years, but we still have a long way to go. Perhaps the journey has only just begun. Who would have thought when we started that we would be welcoming ministers, shadow ministers, MPs, and the prime minister? as well as celebrities from food, culture and entertainment. I'd like to thank all our sponsors who have supported us since 2005, who have been with us from the very start. And I'd also like to thank my fantastic team. I must also mention our good friend and my personal mentor, Chris Tarrant, who has been with us from the very beginning. For health reasons, he is unable to be with us tonight. Believe me, he is greatly missed, and I wish him the speediest of recoveries and look forward to seeing him next year. Finally, it's over to you to celebrate the success of the past and anticipate the future developments of the next 10 years. Have a wonderful evening.